I like chairs. Whether it is laying on my couch, my lounge chair, or my trusty office chair, which I have had for more than eight years, which by the way is still going strong, I have narrowed down the essential things you should look for in a chair, which are style, comfort, and long-lasting build quality. We at Hardware Sugar therefore reached out to Concept if we could get a review unit, which we'll be returning after we release this video. At 4,000 pesos, the Ethan chair is a lot cheaper than my 17,000 chair I got from Dimensiones back in 2013, and it looks strikingly similar. I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, and let's find out if the ergonomic Ethan chair is ergonomic to begin with, and if it is the gaming chair for you. Also, if you have a specific chair you want us to review, please let us know in the comment section below and we will reach out to the manufacturer. I encountered some minor problems at the very beginning. The box didn't come with instructions, but it's a chair. Maybe I didn't need the instructions manual and besides, how hard could it be? And this guy, where do I start with this guy? Actually, it would be helpful if it came with an instructions guide. Evidently, four years of law school and a year of teaching law didn't prepare me for the rocket science of assembly. I called Concept and they were quick to provide me with a picture of the instructions. Surprisingly though, the instructions are in Chinese, with only a single image to guide you for each step. I tried working with it for another half hour and decided to do the nuclear option of video calling them. Their crew was very patient as they talked me through it step by step. Some parts were tricky however, even if I had the correct screw and part, angling them so that the screws could go into each hole proved to be a little difficult. I had to take out all the screws sometimes and try again. The trick was to screw some of them in but not tighten them all the way, plus giving the part some wiggle room for you to put in the other screws perfectly. Other reviewers on Lazada commented that some of them also didn't have instructions in their boxes. However, the overall reviews for the chair are positive. In fact, several people were able to assemble the chair no problem even without the instructions. I eventually got the chair assembled in half an hour after being walked through by the team. It is important to note that Concept was always very responsive to my requests. However, as we are reviewing the chair, we aren't exactly the typical consumer. Hey! If you like what you're watching so far, please consider liking and subscribing to Hardware Sugar where we generate regular tech content. My first impression of the build was that it wasn't a bad looking chair. I selected a black mesh and white frame look, thus the contrast makes it pop more. It appears to have everything you need, a headrest, a leg rest, armrests, and a reclining function. The main reason why I chose to review this chair was because I don't like gaming chairs, and because mesh will always last you longer than PU leather. I am not a fan of the look of gaming chairs, and I have bought expensive executive office chairs before with PU leather, only to see them begin to disintegrate just like my headset within one year. My mesh chair of 7 years shows no sign of age whatsoever, and so I promised myself that I would never get an office chair which wasn't made out of mesh or some other more long-lasting material. The Ethan uses mesh which results in a more breathable material. The little holes act as ventilation in order to reduce heat, similar to why high-quality bags also have these similar mesh holes so that your back sweats less. Upon closer inspection though, the evidence of the price shows itself. The plastic frame has scuffs and minor imperfections such as weird discolorations and scratches. While assembling, I also noticed that the mesh fabric is clumsily stapled together. It doesn't scream premium, but you also will never see it unless you purposely look under your seat. In short, the staples may not look nice, but you'll never see it. However, if you are like me, and you know they are there, even if you don't see it, then that might bother you. What I keep in mind, however, is that the chair is just 4,000 pesos, so I have to give it some slack. The comfort of the Ethan is a complicated topic. One of my biggest problems is that the armrests do not reach my table even if I brought the chair to its maximum height. Before buying a chair, always make sure that the armrest is leveled with that of your table. This is the optimal way of using a chair with armrests. This, however, isn't the fault of concept since I didn't give them my table measurements beforehand. Cushioning for the armrests and the seat is a little lacking. My elbow can feel the hard plastic underneath and the seat itself is more firm than which I am used to. 
However, this didn't keep me from using the chair for several hours without getting too fatigued. What I had a lot of difficulty getting over was the lumbar support, which I would describe to be a plastic claw. I felt like it dug into my back rather than supported it. Other chairs install a small cushion which acts as the lumbar support, and now I see why. The armrests do not go up, but rather backward and forward. The purpose of which is so that you can recline with your feet up to take a short nap or relax while watching videos. The quick workmanship is evident in the leg rest, but again, if you're spending 4,000 pesos with this added feature, I don't think you'll mind a staple or two. If you add extra padding for your lumbar, this recline feature will be even more well appreciated. Thankfully, I bought a lumbar pillow set some months ago which I have grown to really like. They work perfectly with this chair as well and so that completely solves the lower back pain of the chair. I also highly recommend that if you are planning on buying any chair, you should really think of investing in caster wheels because they not only protect your flooring from scratches, but it also really makes rolling around feel effortless. Uh, I like the armrests. They don't seem as flimsy as some of the other chairs that I've tried. The back is a little weird for me. There's like a protrusion here. Na, but but it's not painful, naman. But you feel like there's something jutting into your back, na. Over maybe time. Over, yeah, extended periods. Although I do like how the you know these are the arms. When you move back, they also move back. Ah, okay, naman. Well, Although, yeah, I, same, same observations. The back thing is still still weird, like, it's just... Not bad. Actually, I think this over the chair I have now. Really? In conclusion, the Ethan chair is a good-looking budget chair, provided you are willing to spend extra on a lumbar pillow, and you aren't the type to care about cosmetic defects you'll only see if you are looking hard enough. A lumbar pillow for the Ethan is an absolute must. My additional caveats though are that there are a lot of office chairs in the 2,500 peso range as well and I do not know how well this stacks up to them. At the end of the day, I feel the Ethan would sell better if it was sold at 2,500 as opposed to 4,000 pesos. This would give you extra cash to buy the additional improvements you might need. With the Lazada's 9th birthday sale on March 27, you might be able to get this chair for cheaper. What I can say, however, is that if I'm a business owner who needs to buy bulk chairs for an office, or if you are a work-from-home employee with an employer who has given you a small chair allowance, then I would definitely recommend you give this one a look. Or at the very least, keep in mind to invest in a chair which is made with mesh rather than PU leather. Just keep in mind, however, that you need to do your research to make sure that your armrests are level with that of your table. We provided affiliated links below in case our review has sparked your interest. And we do make a few bucks if you order through those links. Nevertheless, always keep in mind that your chair is your throne and that your back and bottom deserve your protection and investment. If you have a chair you want us to review, please let us know in the comment section below and we will reach out to the manufacturer. And we want to give a special shout out to our top fans. Liam Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ronkinko, ITX Addict, John Ochia, and Christian Espinosa. Again, thank you so much for your support. It really helps us out a ton. Thank you so much.